here's the thing too. I I don't, I don't think people understand. It's like the dynamics, the social dynamics is a skill. Some people are good at it. Some people are not. Yeah. But just like stand up, some people you are funny. Some it. people you can get better. And the only way you do that is by doing it. You can't. Uh, you can't, there's no. There's no. So you have to talk to people. But if you're talking to people from a genuine place. Where as you're talking to somebody because this is an opportunity f- to experience this person. This is an opportunity to experience these surroundings, which is what makes you a better person anyway. If if you you know if you ain't shit. So when the, when you laying on the bed and the, and the shadow from the ceiling fan is whipping across your face, you know if you ain't shit. And if you ain't shit, you gotta do some work to 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 increase your value. If you can't dance, take a dance class. If you don't, if you don't like your body, you got to work out. If you if you're not interesting, you got to travel. If you're not smart, you got to read a book. But if you're working on you to be the best version of you, then you find yourself. You're, you're really not worried about what you're putting. You know what your product is. If I talked, if I if I was trying to talk to a girl and she's like, I'm not, I'm not interested. I'm like, you, yo, I. It's almost like I got this bag of money. I got these bands in this paper bag. You don't even know. You don't even know what you're turning away. Well, first of all, she's turning away. And one of the values that you have is a guy that can do the ceiling fan shadow with <laughs> across your face metaphors. I mean, you don't find that in every guy. Okay. <laughs> Everybody God, don't do that. A lot of people. And, then, and, and I understand. <laughs> a lot of people don't shop the shoplift the pussy. They don't shop the, lift the pussy. That's like. exactly right. You've got to, <laughs> yeah. You've got to, to you turn a phrase. Like yeah. a fucking turn it on a dime. <laughs> yeah. It's um, it's what what I think is so interesting is that, uh, you know, as much as I like, I used to teach pickup too, and there's techniques and stuff like like you you like if you're talking to a girl at a bar, you talk over your shoulder. So, but if you think about the the um, if you think about the um, the 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 psychology of it, it's in front of me is my life. That's my life is moving forward. You are peripheral and I'm talking to you as if you're peripheral because you're not that important because my own vision for myself is forward. So it, it kind of works that way. And, and very attractive women are so accustomed that because of their beauty, a guy will square up to her and bend over. And if she can't hear, he'll lean in. And if she talks, he le- and all of those things are ways in which you're saying them. You're saying, in essence, you're better than me. You're even my posture. I'm willing to break my posture when when you're really confident. And and, and this time we had conversations, we you kind of have this posture where this is just happening. This is just us sharing thoughts. And it just because the woman is attractive doesn't make her better than you. In fact, most of the times it makes her worse because she's skating on that and not building a character or building a personality. But you, you find guys will say, OK, this is what's most this is what's most important, attractiveness. And then they'll sell their self down the river trying to do it. You know? Yeah, I, 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 I hate to. So I, I remember after she reminds me of it, but I hate it. But Kate remembers that the first time I sort of made a move at a party, I was kind of teasing her about her necklace, which could be considered kind of nagging. Right. Um, but I really was sort of like, um, uh, you know, but it was I wasn't like that's a stupid, but I was sort of teasing her about it. Uh-huh. I think she enjoyed that because most guys would never do that. They're only going to compliment her. But it was a stupid necklace. It said right. beautiful or it was a butterfly <laughs> or something. Like that. I was also being honest. About, right. about, and, know, that's, this, and that's why it's funny. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so, um, but, you know, I think early on we kind of, um, I think that's a great point that you just have to understand that women who are beautiful are, have been told that they're beautiful all the time. So you got to focus on what it is. I mean, you know, the physical posture, that's, that's brilliant. That's stuff I, I didn't even put my mind into because I, you know, I'm shaped like a toddler who took a growth serum and I've got a horse. I leaned on the comedy uh, 
quite a bit, you know, sense of humor with sort of my ace in the hole. You laugh them into bed and you hope they don't fall out of bed because they're laughing too hard. Um, <laughs> but I, I, I think absolutely, you know, the confidence and the, the wherewithal, but even more than that, the, uh, the, the intellectual acumen to say, it's not going to do me any good to say you're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen because she's <laughs> heard that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Got to sort of focus on after you talk to him for a little while. So, you know, I really like how you you laid that out. I like that turn. For, I like what you just said, you know, uh -huh. and to focus on their intelligence, of course, because everybody girls are so sick. Beautiful women, especially are so sick of hearing how beautiful they are. They all they want to hear is somebody say, you know, you're actually really brilliant. Mm. Or, I love your vocabulary. You've used a couple. I mean, of but if it, even but if what's interesting, as long as it's in truth, like the compliment should be in truth. So and if it's in truth, it, it rings truth and truth always feels safe. It always is a safe thing, even if it's something that you don't like. And and at any level of of getting a girl, the first is the is the uh, the flirting or the attraction. Second thing is the, is the safety. Right. And then the, then the seduction, it goes in those levels. What, if you miss any one of those levels, you don't get you're not you, you don't end up sleeping with her if you don't check those boxes. And whether you understand that that's that's happening in every engagement. And so when you come from a place of truth, I, you know, this is I, I, I said this to somebody like when you sweep in the when you sweep in the kitchen floor. At the end of the at the end of the day, there's always that line that's right at the dustpan. Right. And there's certain dudes who go and get an envelope or magazine and they get it up. And there's certain dudes that sweep it under the fucking refrigerator. You got to be the guy who doesn't sweep the dust under the refrigerator all the time, because that's where your confidence comes from. Because even the when you analogies, the, this is Dante's Dante's strength. Is these, these goddamn dustpan pussy shop listening analogies. <laughs> and uh, and you, you, you wait, because it's it's really what you what you, what are you doing when the agency is not watching? What kind of guy are you when nobody's looking? And and when you're confident about that. That is the most attractive thing anyway. I mean, um, it's just it's funny, like with Harry, Harry went from a situation where he was depressed and all kinds of to a place where he got, you know, you know, even just doing the show, us doing the show. Sure, yeah. And then there was yeah. this pivot where he was just like it just changed. And then chicks was falling out of the sky for him. It's yeah, it's following that level of honesty and and just approaching everything with honesty and not trying to it didn't. The irony is when you're cheating, it wasn't working when you're trying to like finagle. And like you said, shoplift the pussy more times than not. You don't know what you're doing. You don't get away with it. But just being honest just changed my whole perception. Just being yeah. honest with women and going eh, when I didn't like something and especially more in relationships than in the pickup game. You know, the pickup game is one thing. We talk a lot about that because that's what guys are obsessed with. But even when you are able to get into a relationship, the, the game is more prevalent to me in the confines of a relationship of going, uh, yeah, let's uh, oh, not yeah, do that. Is, is, tell that story about the um, when, with the car when y'all were driving, you and your chick was driving in the car. Oh, OK. Real so, quick, before you do that, I just want to touch on two things. One, yeah, go for it. Uh, when I when I shoplift either pussy or <laughs> from a retail store, from a Dwayne reader, write it. I believe in that, that honesty. So on the way out, I say, you I just stole your shit. I'm that's shopless. It, that's it. <laughs> you gotta be honest about that. And then, you know, I don't you know if you, sh I don't think you shop, you have to shoplift it, but you might gift card a bitch though. You yeah, gift I card. Might, <laughs> I like, I, I'll, I'll I will put mine on layaway. Card, bitch. And then you said, who are you when no one else is around? Are you confident when no one else is around? You gotta have confidence in who you are when no one else is around. And I'm the kind of guy when I'm alone in a hotel room, I masturbate standing on the bed, standing <laughs> up yeah. on the bed. You man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.